The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Ian Utah here, and today we're going to take a look at the Masters of the Universe, Masterverse Horror Trooper, or this on the 15th, uh, it got a little bit lost in the mail, but uh, it did come today, so I'm going to take a look at it. Uh, I like what they do at Masterverse, especially the new attorney stuff, don't really care about the uh, tie-in with the Netflix shows, <clears throat> excuse me, okay I guess, but not really my thing, new attorney has been pretty cool, I never got into classics. So that was just not something that interested me, even though I, I realized how good they are. But still, this is pretty impressive. So artwork is beautiful as always. They've got a horde trooper here. We've got attorney of forces uh, fighting here. A bunch of horde guys here. We've got wind raiders. See all that's going on. Flip it around to the back. Apparently the head comes off and you got uh, this guy under there. Kind of like a goblin type looking dude. So pretty cool. It's big. It's large. We'll go over that. Um, I think it's bigger than seven inches. That's for sure. Uh, but the, the packaging here is where I always think they do a really good job. The artwork's just beautiful. As I've said before, you've got this easy to open flap here. Uh, and then it opens up like this. Horde Trooper, Evil Enforcer Horde Act. The evil Horde Empire spreads across the Decimated remains of new attorney like a virus. Hordak commands its legions of horde troopers to attack and take all prisoners, each destined for the fright zone. Whoa, okay. These pitiful souls are then mind white brainwashed and retrained as horde troopers perpetuating cycle into Hordak or rules the entire planet. So fright zone, love that. Hmm. That you'll see it in this scale, but uh very cool. We'll open up the box. We've got Hordak symbol right there, and then we've got this piece of uh, artwork here, I guess it is like a cover like that, and I'll show you that. So we got kind of the thing here, and then flip it on here, and you got the tower. What is it called? Ah, man, Fordex Evil Lab thing. You know, Fordex Prime Tower. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Doom Tower. I don't know. Somebody put in the comments. I know you know what it is. Uh, I can't think of the term, but, and then we've got the figure in here, and look at this guy, Jesus Christ, uh, very large, humongous, uh, and very cool, or that horde trooper right there, uh, so let's open him up, get him out of this package, and take a look at him, all right, so the horde trooper doesn't come with a whole lot of accessories, but I think because of his size and, uh, articulation, everything like that, uh, but they are pretty cool. So you get this piece here, uh, just gray, kind of shiny uh, plastic with two pegs, plugs into his back, and uh, you can uh, plug your piece in there, store it on his back. I want to do that, and uh, the sword, sword probably works like that too. Yep, so you can do that. So there's an option. So you get staff, kind of the nod to the original. Uh, origins figure or classic figure. You got the little uh, dragon right there on the end of the staff, which is pretty cool. Does that move? That does move, and I didn't know that. Okay, look at that. That is pretty neat. So you can turn the staff. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. You know, I thought it was fixed. I didn't realize it was articulated. So that's pretty cool. Nice molded details. You can like kind of hold the staff and fire it like that. A lot of little. Little buttons and things like that molded into it. It's just red plastic, but it is probably one of the better looking staffs. See all that. And then you get a you get a horde sword. So you hit the a horde act on the emblem there, the, the guards are the bat wings, black plastic for the handle, big silver blade right there. It's got a little weight to it. Uh feels fun. Uh Okay, that's that swirly plastic, though. See how that's painted. Not the best looking uh, thing on the pommel, the handle, whatever you want to call it. 
All right, so that's the accessories I saw get right there. But the figure is right here. And this is uh, this is pretty cool. I ain't going to lie. kind of wish I'd got at least one more of them. But the cool thing is you got the helmet right here. It's got kind of a yellow see-through lens. It doesn't have uh, light piping, which is kind of weird. He's got this lens, but you can kind of see the, the head in there. This piece right here will pop off like that. And you get the kind of goblin looking dude in there. It's red plastic. Uh, you can leave that off if you want to do that. But I don't because I think it looks better with the, the helmet on. So you can just kind of pop that back in. Find the notch like that. And then the, hel the helmet does rotate in the spot. So you got that. Uh, a lot of silver plastic, right? You got the horde emblem, you got the gold, a lot of details like that. You flip around to the back, same thing. He's a, a robot trooper. And you got this silver kind of uh, flap right there. Um, yeah, and then you can basically plug this piece onto the back of him like that. Uh, you see where the two pegs go. Uh, you, know, you don't have to do this, but I think it looks pretty. Fills in the pegs and gives you options for storing. Uh, uh, your different accessories if you want to do that. So, uh, you know, you can rotate side to side on the helmet. The arms will go up to here. Uh, they will move around on a ball joint here, uh, but they won't go straight up like that. You've got a rotation at the bicep, about 90 degrees there. This arm rotates in and out and around. And pretty cool. You got abdominal right there. You got a kind of crunch back and forth. And you got waist rotation. Uh, then you got the leg will go. Well, this leg is super tight. Yeah. It'll go up. It'll go back to a degree and out to the side. Really tight on mine. Then it's got drop down hip. See how that goes. You can do that. It's got a. Pretty more than eh, 90 degree knee. See the joint right there. Um, and then you can rotate on that joint up there. And then you got the feet. And the feet are on a really, really tight rocker type joint here. I think it's just a ball joint probably up in there. Wow, that is really tight, man. Uh, wow. That's almost scary tight. I don't like that. See that? That doesn't want to move very much. But you can rotate the foot side to side. Up, you know. See how that? I think it is a ball joint. It's just really tight. But, I mean, he's got some real good presence. And just to... There you go. You see that? Okay. Not a ball joint. Hinge joint there. Up under there. So, you can see that. Just to kind of show you that. So, there's him. And uh, let's just bring in another horde guy. And uh, there you go. That is Leech. Leech is about six and three quarters, close to seven inches. So you can tell how tall he is right there by that. And then also, if you want to bring in somebody to fight him, this is one I had handy. So it's not a real good one by any stretch of the imagination. There is He Man. So. Quite a bit of size difference right there. I think the robot looks really good. That, no other hands that, you know, kind of would have been nice to get like a a chopping hand or some, some other kind of hand, but the grasping hands will hold the hold the staff or the sword or however you want to do it uh, like that. I don't, you know, I honestly think maybe holding the sword is probably the way to go. The hands are tight uh, to a degree, but... Uh, can do it like that and then just plug this in the back if you want to do that or have him hold another hand so options feels good nice troop builder 30 some bucks though uh so i don't know you know how much you'll go troop building this scale anyway but uh he's got some good size to him like the way he looks likes the way he feels uh very solid piece and once again mattel has done an excellent job with their shipping i mean seems like nowadays you know if you order that thing is going to come out in like a day or two. So, you know, good job with them. I have no complaints. I mean, they kind of fixed their shipping issues like last year or whatever. 
uh, where people were having a problem with trying to get things. And now, good Lord, you <laughs> no problem. You'll get it like three days at the max. So solid figure, nice addition to the collection. I'm glad to have it. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't mind having another one. I don't know where all this hair is coming from. Because I have none, but... Little details on the back. I like the ridge right here. It kind of reminds me of like the old school Cylons for Battlestar Galactica. How they had like the, the suit underneath. I like the way that looks. But translucent. Would have been, I think the only thing that's kind of really missing here is it would have been nice with this kind of lens to have, uh, if you're going to do a yellow lens, to have like a little square in the back, translucent see-through for light piping. Uh, that would have been awesome. And you could just, Set on the shelf with a little bit of light and it really would shine. But solid figure either way. Glad to have it. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, a lot of stuff to review. A lot of stuff to look at. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.